Hello, my name is Ben and I am not a great gamer, and uh, just as I was starting this recording, this the Christmas music came on. Uh, I guess it's, yeah, it's December now, so happy December. It's probably going to be December, like mid-December by the time this actually goes live, so there you go. But I've, I've actually never heard this in-game. I very rarely play this in the month of December for reasons that I don't understand. Anyway, my name is Ben and I am not a great gamer, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, 1, True Roman in which we play as Prince Mare Vitale the Just of Venice. Yes, we are the Serene Doge-ish kind of guy. Uh, we are a genius. We are a master schemer. And uh, our old man face has come out. Yes, we hit 50, and uh, man, th that party really took it out of me, and now I got got my old man face. My my wife, she's um, she's like 19 years younger than me, so she still has her, her young young lady face, although it's kind of, kind of an angry young lady face. Um... Oh hey, she doesn't even have the. Uh, she doesn't even have the the I gave her money thing anymore. Oh, interesting. So she's pregnant, and that's good. So, what else is going on? So we are uh, part of the Holy Roman Empire at this point. Uh, we will be going back to the Byzantine Empire, but not without slurping up a whole bunch of land. So this is what we got. Look at all this Venice. Uh, we got a lot of Venice in Italy now. That's just it's exactly what I want to see. The Golden Horde uh, are evil and took some of the stuff that would have been mine, but what are you going to do? Uh, other than go to war with them, which, let's see here, 87,000 troops, including uh, 68,000 event spawn. So we're not going to be going to war with the Golden Horde anytime soon. We are currently at war with uh, the Sharafids. They're the the new controllers of Cairo, so they're the Sharafids and the, the Fatimids kind of had a had a split up and they're still working out where their land is and stuff but uh yeah we're gonna go after them what was i gonna sh see oh yeah i could raise as much as forty-five thousand troops I'm not gonna not right now um i have a lot of assholes who just don't like me right now and some of them just kind of never will at which point i'm i figure i'm going to have to well at some point i'm just gonna die and we're gonna have to deal with with that so um yeah the Aztecs have been suitably chastened, at least kind of. This guy has 23,000 troops at his disposal, and he's at war with the Holy Roman Emperor, so there we go. Which reminds me that uh, we need to actually worry about the fact that the Holy Roman Emperor is at war with the Aztecs. So, yeah, the 20 stack right there, 20,000 troops, we got to worry about. So, we are in a war. We are about to take all of our boats. Let's see, make sure that they're all coming down. Yes, bring all our boats down, with all our troops down to uh, Sharafid lands, and we are going to see what happens. I'm quite certain that I'm spying on someone. It's been about a week or so since I uh, since I last played this. I watched the episode... Um, oh, this is who we're... Um, yeah. It's been about a week. Uh, I watched the last episode yesterday, so I kind of know what's going on. Uh, we are evidently spying on Countess Tiziana of Aracina. She is possessed, which makes sense, that, why we would spy on her. And uh, no, we are not going to kill her. We're just, we're just not. So, it's fine. We're going to try to pick off a couple of a couple of dudes here. His capital territory is, um, is isolated from the rest of his territory, which means that actually we should be able to pick off his, his domain pretty quickly. Reminding me, let's go here. Hey, child likes a guardian. Ooh, Urbino. That's right, you are... Why are you betrothed to this person? Why are you betrothed to this person? Why did we do that? She aired us something interesting. He... She is, uh... Huh. She's the daughter of Duke Jürgen the Usurper. Why did I do that? Did I do that on purpose? Interesting. Well, we're going to have to train you up. We have to kill you off. Or just break the betrothal, which is going to piss off our vassal, which is really unfortunate. Um, well, he likes me, but... Oh, yeah, that's worth plus 200. Yeah, we can we can break the betrothal. That's fine. We'll do that... Um, well, we'll do that now. You. Break betrothal. Uh, yes, it'll lower his opinion by 30. That's fine. Um, what we are going to do instead, actually, can we have you, see, educate child, 
you Jurgen the usurper. Oh no, we don't want to do that. We want Italian. We want good, good Italian blood or Italian culture. Okay, let's do this. Do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, Urbino. Oh wow, we already have what eleven war score in this war? Holy crap! Okay, search, uh, search all. Gender, both. In prison, no. Married. Any ruler, any, any religion. No, my religion. My culture. Adult, yes. Okay. Urbino, why don't you have a nice gold focus going on here? 17, 3, 18, and 0, and 10. That's actually really good. The Princess of Pisa. She's craven. We can deal with that. Hey, do you want to educate my child? Urbino, and... Princess of Pisa. What's her name? Ricciarda. There we are. Yes. Why don't you do that? There we go. Now the purpose of this war, yeah, okay, we're getting land, but really, we want to uh, land a couple of people. We want to land, well, we want to land several people. One thing is I want to clean out my, um, I'd like to clean out my court. There's just a ton of people that don't need to be there at all. Um, so we'll, we'll get them out of my court. You're staying there. Yeah, you are. Let's do that. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Most of this is Fatimid. Not most of it, but just two. Okay. Yeah, there are two holdings here that are Fatimid. We might go to war with the Fatimids and pick up some stuff. Um, so we want to uh, pick up a bunch of land uh, in order to uh, land people in order to get... Uh, in order to be able to press a claim on this girl, we're going to take her stuff, and then we will have the duchy, the specifically the Duchess of Duchy of Tus Tuscany, and then once we have the Duchy of Tuscany, we can actually take a couple of counties here, which would be good. Get us a little bit more Italy, and more Italy is good. So, And then, what else are we going to do? I have some plans and plots and schemes. Oh yeah, we gotta get... I'm still not sure whether it makes more sense to improve relations with our vassals or get a claim on this dude. And part of me actually just wants to, you know, pull out of the uh, HRE, uh, fracture his empire a little bit, and then when he's distracted, go to war for some of this stuff. Because he's actually going to be dealing with a lot more unrest. Uh, not unrest, but uh, a lot more uh, trouble. Oh, uh, shoot. This guy. Oh, he's the son of Fortunato. You know what? You're going to be Fortunato as well. He's strong, this is what it is, this kid. So, Fortunato. There you go. Actually, go there instead. And release. Uh, oh. Interesting. Smallpox, smallpox spreads across the sea. It seems that plunder and slaves are not the only things the Aztec sailors have brought back with them to their own shores. Rumors have trickled back to the old world, telling stories of smallpox pandemics sweeping across the Aztec Empire and its neighbors. The streets and alleys of Tenochtitlan are said to be littered with the dead and dying, and the Aztec emperors co commanded the immediate execution of all slaves and prisoners captured on the great eastern continent in an effort to stem the spread of the disease. Perhaps there's some justice in this world after all. Yeah, well, could that justice go after um, the Golden Horde instead? That'd be great. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, the King of Leon. Interesting. So who's the Princess of Pisa? She's just sort of there. Oh, she's strong. Too bad she's 67. She looks really good for a 67-year-old. Holy crap. Della Garadesca, she is of... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Della Garadesca is the uh, kings of Pisa. Forgot about that. Is Pisa even a kingdom anymore? Yeah, it is, actually. Yep, King Pasquale. Okay, well, good to know. Okay, where are you going? Let's go there. Go, here, instead. 
Let's catch these guys. Uh, Prince Thomas for the Holy Roman Empire, whatever. Nope, your name is not going to be Vitale. Uh, we've had a bunch of Urbinos. How about Antonio? Antonio's just fine. Antonio's, er, uh, Vitale is for geniuses only, kids. Geniuses only. Oh, hey, 15,000 troops. Oh, that's right. That's the Holy Order, isn't it? Go there. You guys, uh, you guys, go home. Thank you. Bye, boats. You were great. Oh, it's January 1st, 1285. I know that because it's not a safe. The Battle of Sin. Uh, or the Battle of Sin, depending on how you look at it. Uh, where are you going? We're having Kenya. Okay. You know what? You just siege. Actually, can you siege? Uh, you might not be able to No, you'll be able to siege, but just barely. So we're at war with the Fatimids yet. Have the Fatimids joined? No, they haven't, actually. Interesting. I wonder if they hate each other. I bet you they hate each other. But the Fatimids and the Sharifids just absolutely detest each other. That'd be kind of cool. There we go. Uh, there's that. Uh, Lord Mayor Alberico of Amalfi usurped the title Barony of Amalfi from the Orderic de Hotavia. There we go. I love. I love. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I love vassals that go out and grab their own crap. Not like literally crap or anything, but you know. Oh, there's no trade. There's no trade post here. Interesting. Oh, we are. Uh, yeah. So our our heir is still this guy, uh, Antonio Feliero, which is why we are. He has a lot of respect going for him, which is why we are going to hopefully. Actually, we're gonna throw in another hundred ducats just to make sure to seal the deal here that uh, we are going to be. Um the next doge because not being the next doge really sucks so good good work duke simonotto simonotto the silent good work how do you, i wonder how you get the the silent i'll have to take a look at that oh he's stressed and depressed a lot of people are stressed and depressed in this world it looks like go go contarini that's another battle already at 29 war score you know what you just stay there you go over here. No, here. Been attacked in Cairo. That was dumb. It's thirty, literally thirty-two people rose up in Cairo. So, what are you gonna do, right? Okay. Uh, murder is going too far. We are not gonna kill Constantiana. In fact, at the next option that we have. Uh, interesting. Her husband died in battle against Kaiser Conrad. Interesting. At the next option, we're going to stop spying on this one. So murder is going too far. Patience is a virtue, but sometimes it gets on my nerves. My nephew Urbino never loses his temper, always waiting patiently for a chance to retaliate. Uh, yeah, that's uh, patience. Patient is very good. Um, Urbino gained one intrigue, gained five prestige, and his his opinion of me goes up for two years. Not that it really matters. He's eight. He's not going to do anything interesting. Uh, yeah. Good deal. Patience is patient is a very good trait. We'll keep it. Okay, so now we're just sieging down the war target. We'll turn time up a little bit for that. See what else is going on in the world. Yeah, they just do not have the troops to bring at me. kind of factions we got going on murder is going too far just let me stop <laughs> what do we got duke giselbert the second for the holy roman emperor independence that is a very small one who is this essex yeah figures the uh the, the english kings don't want it anymore prince thomas for the holy roman empire I mean, it's just people who want to be emperor it's pretty much mostly what it is wilberto faliero uh I actually asked my wife what kind of... Actually, can I... Can I educate you? Yeah, I can. Yeah, how about if I... Educate you. Educate child. By rank, me. I will educate him. There we go. It's 
if you're if you're unfamiliar or haven't heard the earlier uh, episodes, uh, my wife specifically requested my in in real life wife specifically requested that I. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, there's a siege. Good stuff. That I name one of the kids uh, Wilbur, in in this game, and I thought Wilbur was a weird name for a an Italian, you know. Doge's son. So I, uh, so I, uh, I, I decided Wilberto was okay. So there's gonna be, gonna be always a Wilberto at some, you know, in our in our court. So, no, we are not gonna kill this woman. Can you do something else? Can we just stop with this woman? Of course, we are we are spying on people. For I, I, I truly believe that. Uh, oh, hey, we'll have to actually kill that. That. Uh, What's it called? The Intrigue Focus may be my favorite focus. It's almost better than, um, than, uh, what's the other one? Oh, sweet. Vile Heresies. It's almost better than, what is it called? Uh, Seduction. And I say almost, and I kind of mean almost. I'm, I'm not sure if it's actually better, but, uh, it's, it, it can be a lot of fun. You can ruin a lot of people's lives. Including people that, uh... Okay, we are going to spy on someone else. Okay, so what is this? Theodoric de Genève... De, uh, uh. Theodoric de Genève tried to have me assassinated to make sure I wouldn't discover his plot to see Brunhilde Bassona dead. Your humble spy, spy master, Baron Roberto of Lecce. Who's this guy? He is doing this. Okay, expose him immediately. Are you okay? Baron Uberto. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to... Right, narrow. Ooh. Homosexual and possessed. Let's do it. Spy on. Yes. There we go. Oh, which reminds me. Um... Tiziana de Molina? Yeah, we're not... You're not... You're not special interest anymore. You're not doing anything... Very interesting. Uh, Urbino is no longer Marshal. Is Urbino dead? Yeah. Urbino died. He, he got it olded and died. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, speaking of, so if Urbino was 16... Yeah, this guy is 70. Oh, man, my heir is 70. Yep, that happens. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah, there we go. So it's awfully nice... Yo, you want to become steward? Why do you want to become steward? You have 19 marshal and zero stewardship. Why do you want to become stu- Wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. So here's my thing, though. Um, I don't need opinion, really. I could get Fortunato some uh, prestige, though. We'll do that. But here's the thing. Corinthia. Wait, the Duke of Corinthia. Oh, you have an heir. That's good. No. Um, who was that? Just, just like, I saw something interesting. Okay, so vassals. Duke of Corinthia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you. You have an heir who is... Ugh. Now, does this mean that Corinthia goes away? Because here's here's my issue. This guy's celibate. His heir is a duke, actually. Uh, the Duke of Brabant. Now, does he become my vassal if he takes on Corinthia? I don't understand how that works. We're probably going to have to just uh, declare war on this guy. Find out if there are any good claimants. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of good claimants. Hey, Hugo. Do you have a strong claim? No. Can we kill people in order to get you able to come? Probably. Oh, you have a strong claim. You're 20. Invite to court, yes. Come to my court. You have a strong claim, we'll get you. We'll get you. Brino is no longer marshal for Prince Mayor Vitali V. Okay, well, that got, fi that got fixed. Okay, got a nice little siege there. Let's siege this one down, and then we'll go. Okay. You go here, you go there. Uh, is that all we want to do? That probably is all we want to do, actually. You just keep sieging. 
Yeah, just keep sieging. That's fine. Lingonus 1 is under siege. Not for very long. Uh, found out nothing new and useful about Lord Mayor such and such. Well, we'll pretend pretend we did. Okay. How's that? How's that sound? We'll pretend we did. 1,100 troops. You really want to do that? Let's, let's go there first. Stop him from leaving. There we go. We'll get him. Oh, that's 10,000 troops. I don't actually want to march on top of 10,000 troops. Uh, that changed. Where did you get those guys? Hmm. Okay, we'll do this. We'll let this battle occur. We will bring... Oh, someone became Catholic. Good. Bring these guys in, and then we will attack. You will arrive in Buhaira. Buhaira. We'll go to Asut. Uh, I'm starting to think Alus Alicia might fancy me. Uh, sure. Mm, no, our wife likes us. Although, we could use another... Ge I am a genius. Genius has got a... Genius has got to make more geniuses. That's what geniuses are for. In fact, that if if nothing else, that is a very, very, very good reason for us to. Um... Sweet, it's good to be the prince mayor. It's a very, very good reason to. Uh, to pick up the uh, yeesh monthly attrition twelve point three. That's horrific. That's fine. In order to go for uh, being a genius is a very good reason to seduce women. There you go. Okay. That's 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 what we're going to say. Yes, murder is going too far. Holding in a swan is under siege. Yes, because you stopped. Okay, fine. You. You go here. Thank you. We're going to lose a bunch of men. What are you going to do? Oh, golly. That was rough. Oh, I don't even I don't even want to think about what just happened there. Oh, hey. Okay. What is this? Mountains? You'll attack me in the mountains. Okay. You can attack me in the mountains. That is just fine. How about if you attack me in the mountains? There we go. We will get you. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Okay, whatever. Holding in a swan is still under siege. Yeah, well, not for not for very long. I have learned from my little birds. No, I'm not going to kill him. Wow. Ooh. Guys, you need to reinforce, like, now. Oh, wow. And the center's already dead. Well, that's something. There we go. This is much, much, much better. Okay. Okay. I like it when my center isn't dead. Yeesh. Um, Tripolitania Revolt. Okay. I don't know where that is. Actually, is it a revolt war, or is it... Oh, sweet. I cut a guy. Uh, you have 10 marshal. Ooh. Ransom. 25 gold. Fine. Sure. Okay. Who is this? Wait, what's this war? Marino of Tripolitania Revolt. Your vassal is... Attacking Duke Sebastiano of Tripolitania and Tripolitania Revolt War for Albuino's Albuino, claim on Tripolitania. Okay. That's a little weird, but okay. I'll follow you. There's my money. Baron better have my money. Or something. Um, you. Eight Marshal. Want to give me some money? Thank you. Okay. Where are you going? Sarkia. No. What? Yeah, some are going to Sarkia and some are going to Buhaira. Yeah, let's go to Buhaira. May Allah destroy your house. Like, just my house? Because we gotta, we gotta have other lands too. Or do you just mean my house? Go. 
Uh, go, no, go there, there. Okay. Lord Mayor Constantus of Ephesus has given me a bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning Lord Mayor Gabrino of Vegla's sex sexual preferences. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, he's my vassal. Am I spying on this guy? Is that who I'm spying on? There's no reason for me to spy on this guy. Oh, no, never mind. Um, he's fine. He likes me. Whatever. I'll keep this information to myself. I don't care. As long as he keeps paying me taxes and sending me troops. Pfft, whatever. Priorities. Priorities, kids. Come on. I was, uh... Oh! She was pregnant! With my child! But she died! Oh! Oh. It's no good being the Serene Doge. Oh, that's really too bad. <laughs> Go there. You know what? Spying on is no fun anymore. Oh, my! but my wife. Hmm. She's a genius. Whatever. Let's do it. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's have a little seduction here. We have the diplomacy. We'll go, but we'll go down by one intrigue, which is whatever. It's fine. It's fine. My wife is still preg... My wife was pregnant, right? Oh yeah, Antonio. Okay, that's right. That's right. Okay, looks like we are going seduction focus because why not? We're going to make sure that 90% of these people are no longer... Oh yeah, you have strong claims on all kinds of stuff. Fight to court. No? Okay. Hmm. Why did I... Why did I have a... Why did I have you set a special interest? That's interesting. Okay, let's start unspecial interesting these people. Are you in war anymore? No, you're not. Yeah, you are. Yeah, but you're probably okay. Uh, Sigmund von Eppenstein, you're no longer interesting to me. I, I am going to find women interesting. Especially women in my court or something who have really nice traits. Yeah, you're no, you're no longer any use to me either. Agalina, that's just fine. So I'm going to turn time down just a little bit while I sort through these things and I'll just let time go. Right narrow. Don't care about you. Ruggiero Faliero. Oh yeah, my uh... I think he's my rival. Yeah, we hate each other. It's fine. Federico von Eppenstein. Why... Oh, I know why. Because you're my rival. I was going to spy on you. Well, you're no longer my rival. You're, you're no, I'm no longer going to spy on you. Count Alfred of Bedford. Nope, not interested. And this guy. Don't even know why he was... Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to have a very different kind of special interest, uh, you see. So, who are we going to do? Oh, who is this? Rome? What are you doing? Galician castilian Anti-Papal War. Oh! Attacking King Alvar II of Castile in order to uh, bring down the Anti-Pope. Interesting, interesting. So, what are we going to do? First off, first things first. Can we be that guy? And uh, seduce this woman, the Kaiserin Flora of the Holy Roman Empire. And no, we're not. Oh, she's Morosini. I thought you were going to marry one of my kids, but no, you married a Morosini instead. Ooh, bad form. Bad form. Oh, that's right. Actually, there was something I was going to do. Let's find a doge. Let's, let's pick someone in particular. Let's pick Morosini, I think it is, actually. Dear Mr. Morosini, your wife... Oh, wait. Okay, no, that's right. Your wife is a uh, gray eminence, 24, and that's fine. I'm going to seduce her. What I'm going to do is I'm going to seduce a bunch of this these people's family members and see if I can get one of my children as their patrician. And then I'm going to spy on them and find out that they are a bastard and see what happens. I'm really curious to see what happens there. So we'll do that. Um, that's not 
what I intend to spend most of my time doing. Uh, mostly it's going to be going after uh, geniuses and, and various other types of people. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's 20,000 troops there. Hmm, good to know. Uh, so there's a 20,000 troop stack down there. We're going to have to deal with that. And my timer went off. We're going to have to deal with that. And we're going to have to uh, seduce a nice, pretty young woman who is married to someone else. And we're going to have to deal with that as well. But all of that will happen next time on Crusader Kings 2. I enjoyed myself. I do hope you enjoyed yourself as well. Oh, and I'm going to be losing all kinds of money. And I do look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, just so you know, uh, these holy orders are now costing us money. Um, okay. Okay, good to know. Well, okay.